I called it guys, I called it, what's good, um, this is going to be a real quick video, uh, I wasn't going to do this, I was just going to go straight into my trilogy of theory videos like I said I was going to, but I've still, to this very moment, got people um, posting me their rebuttals to my video, which is fair enough, which is fair enough, but this picture came out, I have to break it down, I'm too hyped not to. I said it wasn't Noctus, um, the 53 minute video, I said it was a projection, uh, the reasons for that, I, I don't think most, I think a lot of my original followers know the reasons, it dates back to so many videos, Ragnarok, Norse mythology, all of the Fabula Nova Crystallis stuff, which Tabata openly admitted is still in the game, and that's why I said, it isn't Noctus, he's projecting, he's seeing, uh, he's putting himself in a previous ancestor's shoes. And, you know, a lot of people couldn't get that, they didn't understand. What do you mean he's projecting his teammates' faces? Of course it's Noctus, um, it's aged Noctus, he put the ring on, he's got older. Uh, he, Ignis even says Noctus, how can it not be him? This is the reason why, guys, this picture right here... Um, I said it didn't look like Noctis to me, and it was the nose more than anything, um, because Noctis's nose is much smaller, it's not like that, I should have sort of emphasised that more in my last video, his facial structure is different, um, and it is Regis guys, the hair, the beard, the nose, um, but most importantly, the sword, so uh, another score for peasants, um, and I had to post this because I've still got people now um, linking me things like Nova Crystallis articles, uh, Famitsu articles saying, look peasant, here's the evidence, it's Noctus. Nova Crystallis says it's Noctus. Guys, Nova Crystallis don't know shit. That is not a reputable source. They don't have inside information. They're making the same call as everyone else um, because they don't know what the peasants know. No one knows what the peasants know. We are the only ones that called this, guys, because there are a lot of you who also called this with me. You're also on board with what I said. Hopefully, everyone's now on board. Um, this is a short video because I do the rest of it. I break this down over with Ali Hassan. Um, you've got to check that video out. It's super hype. It's about 25 minutes. We go full ham on this. Break this down because this means so much, guys. The theory videos were all on track, um, and the ones that are coming up are going to be even better. Um, the video on Alice Sars channel isn't up yet. If you want to know when that comes up, uh, follow me over at FF Peasants on Twitter. I'll let you guys know when that's up. You have to check it out. But guys, projection. It was a plot device. He was projecting the faces of his teammates onto Regis's teammates. He was in the shoes of his father. Just like I said, and now I think about it, holy shit, this has just occurred. This this means that he was actually projecting Gladiolus, not uh, Ignis and Prompto, onto Wesker, Corleonis, and Sid, Sidney's grandfather. Because, of course, Regis had four allies when he went on his journey. I think it's probably the case that every Lucis ancestor uh, had four allies. And I think this is what Square are doing. I think I've said why I don't think Sid and Wesker's relationship with Regis is good. That's going to be an Alessandro's video as well. And that's what I think the theme is, guys. The other brotherhoods weren't strong enough to get over Ragnarok, to end it. But Noctis's brotherhood uh, is. And talking of brotherhood, Brotherhood episode 4 coming up. I talk more about this. That will be the next video up. Just had to get this off my chest until the next video, guys.